Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We continue where we left off uh, the last time. We uh, forwarded to September and there is nothing to sell. I already uh, brought everything into the warehouse. So let's have a quick look at what we have in storage now. I think we can do it like this. Should be... Uh, maybe should step out. That's a little bit easier to see. We have 12,000 bread, canola oil 5,000, cotton roll 1. Easels 3, Furniture 3, Lettuce, uh, I think that's 500, so that's basically 18. Paper Rolls 2, Picture Frames 5, Planks 13, Prefab Walls 4, a lot of straw still, but we keep that uh, for now. Strawberries, I think it's, uh, I'm not mistaken, divided by... Two or by four, I think. Not quite sure how many we have. Tomatoes, I think it's 21. Could be that we... Yeah, have 42. It seems to be a little bit much. And uh, the wood beams are six. So, yeah. But, like I said, nothing to sell. So, we are going to... Uh, get rid of the... Oh, seed radish. And we are going to seed barley and wheat. But first let's pick up the... Uh, uh, let me see. I think you should be able to do this one. If I'm not mistaken. Let's have a quick look. What's in the... Uh, not much. Okay. Uh, I think we need the disc harrower. The disc harrow needs... 360 horsepower, ouch. Okay. Then the cedar needs a little bit uh, less, I think. Let's see. The cedar needs 300. Okay, we should then be able to do the cedar with this one. And we need the disc carrier. We need uh, the big one. The big boy. So let's uh, put this one to work first then. Also it needs a little bit of assistance. First part. And it needs to do two fields also. The cedar needs also to do two fields. So they probably ain't gonna miss out much on each other. Because they both need to do about the same amount of work. So let's see if we can... Uh, Do this here. I should have some headers now. Let's have a look if they are available by any chance. Corn headers. I should have some mods now. Uh, yeah, there are some bigger ones. 12 meters, 15 meters, 18 meters even, but I think 12 meters is fine. Can I customize these into... Well, yeah, I can make them make glass color. So that's, that's fine. That problem has been solved. Okay. And I'm looking for that because I'm over here. I see that it says it needs to be rolled. But that are the fields that had um, all seed radish in them. So it's a little bit strange that it says it needs to be rolled. But we do that after we uh, planted uh, the wheat and the barley. Let's drop you. And let's get this under here. We might want to do an extra one, I think. Maybe, yeah, let's do the, the top and the bottom. And the rest, I think, can be done by the worker itself. Well, we could give it, uh, yeah, one on the left side or the right side. That might be even a better thing to do. So let's get you in like this. Something like this. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Now we might want to go for thing three. Or two. Ah, two should be enough, I think. Yeah, that might be 
Well, it doesn't matter too much. Let's make two here. I, though we do have some trees over there. Mm, maybe three is better. I could go all the way uh, down there. Uh, since the fields are basically... Lining up uh, perfectly like this. Yeah, no money incoming this month. Next month we have a few things that we can sell. But prices are uh, very low at the moment. You know what, I might even go for... Uh yeah, let's do that. Instead of going back, we do another uh, round around here. Why not? Because when I uh, seeded the oil seed radish, it skipped uh, a little part here in this area because I think the trees are a little bit too close uh, to here. So let's uh, do that also manually. And at least uh, we won't have that problem. Somehow it stopped, it came from over there. And this direction and it stopped right basically around here and turned around and get back into that direction and the rest of the field it did perfectly but got a little gap over there so had to do that manually so trees too close to the edge of the field seems to give a problem for the worker Oh, this is going at a nice steady speed, so that's fine. Need a couple of more minutes to uh, set all of this up. And then we should be good to go. There we are, going all the way back to the other side of the field, of the other field I have to say, not this one but uh, way down there, let's see, is this a little bit, uh, it's too far, go a little bit to the left, there we go, that should do it, drop you down, put you in motion. At some point in the future, if really needed and we don't have enough, we can always uh, connect two fields together and make it one big field. If we want to do uh, the same stuff in there, let's say we need more canola or something like that, we can always uh, combine two fields into one. But I don't think it's necessary yet. So we still have a lot to do then uh, this month because we need to uh, seed the wheat and uh, the barley. Then we need to uh, roll it and then we need to get some lime on there. All things that needs to be done. Well, not all of it this month. The lime could wait for a month, but better have it done. You should go in this direction, yep. Uh, a little bit more to the left, like this. And that should do it. Yep, picking everything up here, that's good.
I'm probably gonna do another round. Yeah, and then... Uh, then put it on a worker, then the worker can finish this, that's not a problem. I'm not sure if one is enough, we could try it, but... I think it's messing up, it's going to start going backwards again. Round and round and round and doesn't do anything else. It needs uh, a little bit of room to... To turn around it seems. And one headlet doesn't seem to cut it. So let's see if we can do this by hand, this little piece. I think that should be okay like that, so let's line up for the next line here. Let's see how that works out. Somewhere around here I guess. Yeah, it seems to, well, just to make sure, let's do it like that. A little bit more to the right. Then we have a double headland. We already can do that on both fields, why not? And in the coming months we should get uh, a nice amount of money. Because there's a lot of stuff that we can sell. Uh, you can continue over there, that's not a problem. How is our... Uh, it's still 59. Okay, this is up to 98 now. That's good. Maybe even go up to 100 if we finished with... Uh, cultivating the oil seed radish. Wouldn't be surprised to be honest. Would be nice also if we could get this one also up to 100. And there we go. Yeah, let's make another uh, pass also up because I don't trust uh, those trees so close by I can't do anything about them at the moment so that seems to be good so go up and then we go back again and then we put the worker on it and it has a decent amount of headland to work with and it probably will stop uh, when it finished uh, one field but then we can put it to the next field and continue not really a problem and by having this uh, headland here that it won't go outside the field I think a normal worker will go outside the field if there's a little piece left uh, course play on the other hand doesn't do that going back into the field but I think the, the game worker itself uh, simply continues if I'm not mistaken So with the headland you prevent that. And then we can start seeding. Also important. This is going pretty uh, fast to be honest. I think it's going faster than the seeding. So I don't think the seeder can keep up with uh, this fella. Uh, we need a little bit more room here along those trees. That's... Uh, definitely the case and hopefully that's enough and since we have a, a big bump there in our field that we want to uh, to seed I predict that the seed will slow down a little bit because that tractor doesn't have much in reserve to uh, to keep going uphill this one does but yeah this needs uh, a lot of horsepower as I said at some point we need another tractor and probably another one like this the smaller one is good for uh, 
doing the the uh, the lime and maybe the uh, mulcher don't think that the mulcher need that much horsepower but for the heavier work uh, yeah we need uh, a few of these that's for sure have a quick look uh, what the mulcher needs i think it's not that much 200 horsepower or something like that if i'm not mistaken let's have a quick look that i don't make any mistakes about that uh, the roller needs not much although 240 horsepower that's still a lot uh, no 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 not sell no 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 back uh the mulcher 270 okay it can do it but it's still a lot of horsepowers those machines uh, do really need a lot of power uh, but th the small one can do it but this is too big and Actually, the, the seed that is also a little bit too big uh, for the smaller tractor. Now, we don't even have the smallest tractor. So, let's see. This goes. Uh, let's put a worker on here. There we go. Uh, let's go back to this one. Turn that on. Oh, let's go a bit like this. There we are. Uh, we need to set you to the barley first. Yeah, let's fill it up. It needs to be done. And hopefully uh, it will go on its way. Uh, we don't need to repair. We don't need to refuel. We only need to uh, refill. There we go. That's a thousand for... And this one, uh, I don't need to connect the just skin on the front side. That's a little bit uh, silly uh, game. Uh, let's uh, open this one and no. What's going on? Why doesn't it want to take the N key is usually start refilling. Am I not close enough to the seats? Am I still in the uh, the other trigger point? Probably. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 1140 for the seats. Not that much either. Oh, that's fine. Let's make uh, a nice headland. Uh, one should be enough on this side. On the other side we need at least two. And let's turn on our prop sensor. Alt Shift B. There we go. Prop sensor turned on. Very well. Uh, need to detect the width here. There we go. And I think this should do it. There we go. Fertilizer application. Target reads. Oh no, there we go. Now it needs more. For a moment I thought, what's going on? Fully uh, fertilized, but that's probably the, only the, the beginning. Yeah, it needs a lot of uh, fertilizer. Okay, fair enough. Now this is our... Uh, our canola. I had to think what kind of crop we were heading in there maybe a little bit more to the left uh, go back a little bit there you go drop you down and continue yeah, looking good. Well, 15 kilometers an hour, that's uh, normal, but I don't think we can maintain that on the hill over there. That might be a little bit problematic. Well, if the other tractor is free, then we can always change them, of course. But it will take a while before that field is completely done. 
and it's even better than because we can uh, use the roller with this one and also the lime spreader while the other one can continue with uh, with seeding oh that's a lot of seed all of a sudden 280 we don't salty clay a silty clay that seems to be uh, okay now we're back to look at that 10 kilometers an hour yeah that's a little bit of a struggle for this uh, this boy 300 horsepower almost but still but we'll get there not really a problem in the end everything will be fine uh, yeah, this can go a little bit in, uh, maybe like that. Uh, drop you down, set you on. Yep, that's fine. But we had a nice amount of barley last time, so that's uh, that's a good thing. Uh, is there some greenish stuff still on there? Or does it pick up everything? Oh, I think the weeds are starting to grow, isn't it? Yep, well, that's not a problem. Or is it? No, it's just a texture. But from a difference, it looks as if uh, there's something on there, but there's nothing. Okay, good. So that's going nicely. Let's have a quick look how it turns around. You're going away all the way back. No, you're going to the left and then make a turn to the right. Okay. Probably also driving a little bit backwards. Okay, that's a decent amount, uh, to be honest. But it still seems to do its job. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's working at least, that's important. Always have to keep an eye out for your workers what they exactly do because you never know if they understand their tasks. We all hope that they do, but doing reasonably well good but there goes a lot of fertilizer on this field here it says there's nothing on there but that's that can't be correct there should be uh, some of it we did all have all seed reddish on here so or do you need to do that just before you uh, And leave it until you want to... No, that might be the case. Leave it until you want to seed. Maybe that's something we need to do. Okay, well. Good to know. Then we do that in the future. Just prior to, uh, to seeding. Because I think that might be the case, uh, to be honest. Because this field doesn't seem to have much... Uh, when it comes down to to fertilize and we did had uh, some oil seed radish on here have to keep that uh, in mind because it basically a lot of times it says there's nothing here's 15 but we do have a lot of uh, places that there is no uh, fertilizer whatsoever and that shouldn't be the case uh, let's pick up that little area that was been skipped here Mm, 
Yeah, let's do another... Uh... Well, we don't need it here. On the other side, maybe. Let's make uh, an extra headland there. But I don't need it over here. We can put the truck uh, aside. That's not a problem. Yeah, it's basically not sensing any uh, or almost nothing uh, when it comes down to fertilizer. That's a little bit of a surprise. Okay. It shouldn't have, let's put it that way. But we'll soon figure that out when we uh, going to put some weeds in the other uh, fields. That should do it. Does that influence our echo score? 97. Well, that's pretty good still, so not too much to worry about. Oh, and we did miss out on a little piece over there. Apparently. Not sure what happened here exactly, but there is a little part that's not being seeded here. There we go. Now we should be able to put a worker on here and check uh, how our cultivator is going, doing. That should be fine. Make it a little bit like this. Yep. There you go. Yeah, this one is going nicely. We can uh, do a little bit ourselves, I think. It's looking good so far. Uh, let's have a, uh, a look at the fertilizer over here. Because as far as I can tell... pH... Yep. Yeah, look at that. It's uh, getting a little bit less reddish more orange so we got 20 kilograms but this is all gone as if uh, there has never been any oil sheet reddish which is not uh, correct so we probably can't leave the fields too long without uh, doing anything on it that might be a little bit problematic well something new learned that's good Never knew that, uh, to be honest, but it does make sense when it starts to rain and there's nothing in there. The nutrients will yeah, probably go deeper into the ground or, or flush away. I think that's something like that uh, is happening. Okay, he is uh, messing up over there. You think uh, the combine is in the way. I don't think uh, you're right about that, but... You still have room. Look at that. Plenty of room. No problem whatsoever. So let's turn you around. And let's see how this goes. There you go. Put you back on a worker. Let's uh, get rid of this one also. Because otherwise he's going to stop again. Not something we want. There we go. And we can continue over here.
So basically the fact that we are also multi or, uh, getting the all sheet reddits out of that field isn't the best choice it seems. What kind of options do we have to put another crop into the ground straight after this? Because that might be the best course of action for now. Let's have a, a quick look. Oh, canola. Okay. Canola barley of wheat. Hmm. So I guess we have to... Well, you know what? We could seed it in again with all sheet radish, that little part that we already did. And then leave it until we need to do something in spring. I think that's the best course. That won't cost us much. But we need to do this just before we want to seed. Oh. Already was uh, lowered. Picked it up. Try again. Yeah, that might be the best course of action to get some. Uh, some all sheet radish in there again and then leave it until. The field needs to be. Uh, to be seeded. Okay, good to know. So I'm going to continue with this stuff and when I'm done I will be back with you guys. So see you in a moment. Okay, we are on the last stretch here. The cedar is still uh, busy. But we can swap them uh, after this. And start with uh, the rolling I guess. Yeah, that shouldn't be uh, any problem. And there we are. Very well. Uh, no, hold that up. Good. So let's stop that worker over there. We don't need uh, that anymore. Stop it. There you go. Let's switch those two. This one can bring this back to the farm. There you go. And you can pick up this one again. Uh, let's see, how are we doing? This seems to be fine. Okay. Drop you down, turn you on. Let's start it and let's put the worker on again here. There we go. A little bit better. Okay, here is some stuff in the ground, but not much. Hmm. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about uh, the all sheet radish uh, now. I think it's better to leave it uh, until you're ready to seed something and then put it in the ground just before that or under the ground. So let's put you in here and we can start rolling. Uh, this one needs to be cleaned at some point, but not yet. Uh, 
Uh, we do might want to have a headland also, but I guess that has to wait until the next episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully until the next time. Bye for now.